Hello guys, welcome to Tell We How channel on YouTube again. So in this video, I will show you how to make a Wi-Fi jamming device using an ESP8266 module. It's a Wi-Fi module. So I have my Arduino ID in here, and here is the link into the Wi-Fi module information and also the source code of the Wi-Fi module that is used to power the entire Wi-Fi module to make to create a perfect Wi-Fi jamming device so in here I have the I Arduino ID so if you don't have the Arduino ID yet you can go ahead into arduino.cc to download the ID IDE based on your platform and for the source code I also provide inside the description below and it's, it's located inside my website it's a blog actually so I have the board information and also the Wi-Fi module description and its source code that is free to download so now what is the process well first of all you have to download the code from here but for me I don't really need to download it again because I already have one existed in my computer so I'm going to open it inside my resource file Wait, where is okay resource file in here and it's located in download yeah DSP82 Dota Master so once you download from the website you will have to extract it and you will have this folder inside the folder you will have an ESP8266 daughter SDK fix and the screenshot it, it's a it's a tutorial based on the entire process so but the important thing is the SDK fix it have three files ESP8266 Wi-Fi Wi-Fi and user interface and also in order to customize this three file I recommend you to read this readme first because it will tell you which file go to which directory because this we have three file which is goes to two different directory so follow this description and copy it into its specific directory so now let's get into Arduino again this source this code is only work with an Arduino board 2.0.0 so you have to go into tool board or oh wait let me show you the file in here preference so in order to download the board you have to add the additional board manager URL so I will provide this URL inside the description below as well so paste it in here and click OK and then go into tool board board manager and then it will load up once it finished load up you just go ahead and select the ESP8266 community and then install the 2.0 version Look, again it's only work with 2.0 version so once you have installed on it closed it and go into uh, sketch uh, it's a little bit slow in here. Sketch, include library, manage library, and then download the related library that we need. So what we need is an ESP8266 Wi-Fi and ESP8266 web server. So in here, you just type in this two or one by one, typing the ESP Wi-Fi and download it, and then install, and then ESP web server. So once you have finished all this, all this process, go ahead and click on file preference here it is we have a directory click on that directory and then we can we can continue the last process that I have told so close this so here we have the directory and we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the download file that we just currently download and open the readme so Remember directory, the specific directory, and pass this and paste this three file into a specific directory as described in this readme text. So, once you have finished all the process, you can close all the folder, and then you can go ahead into tool, select the port, connected your device, and select the port. Also, to select the specific board. So in this case we are using a node MCU or an ESP8266 so it's in one this it, it it is in one same board 
you can either select node MCU 1.0 or 0 0.9 it's okay with this two ports so once you have select the board and the port you can freely to click upload this sign is upload you can compile it before upload or you can just cl click on upload so this is the process that you're going to power up powering power up the entire Wi-Fi module so I'm sorry it might be a little bit fast but I'm sure you guys can do it so we have the entire code in here so in the next video I will show you how to start the jamming process and then I will show you the additional board that we are using so thank you and see you in the next part okay guys so this is the hardware that I used to download the code from the Arduino ID you know it's a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module but actually you can use this one it's called the Note MCU you can all you can also find it in the online store like AliExpress, Taobao or eBay or anything. It's very cheap. It's something around less than, you know, $5 or maybe 5 I think. Or if you don't really interested in the already installed board or the development board but you just want to go into the module itself with self you know soldering you enjoy the soldering stuff or something you could use this one the ESP8266 12E this is the module that standalone module and you can use it with the other component that form up as a board it's a development board but you can also find this board's circuit diagram and the PCB board design inside the website. I will provide you a website, the link into my blog that have everything you need to make up this board. But one thing that separates these two boards into very different ways is that this board is included. Here is the micro USB. It supports the 5 volt voltage, but the board itself, the MCU, is only support 3.3 volts. So the Node MCU board has installed this one, the voltaic regulator, 5 volt to 3.3 volt voltaic regulator. So you don't need to plug for any support hardware to draw the voltaic to 3.3 volt. So you just go ahead and plug this microphone, the micro USB directly, and it will automatically convert the voltaic to support this board but for this board as you as I told you guys a moment ago that this is a standalone board so the entire board only support the 3.3 volt unlike the Note MCU board which have the in pin and the 3.3 volt pin so here is the in pin and the 3.3 volt pin 3.3 volt is actually a 3.3 volt voltage and the in pin is actually a 5 volt voltage pin so it have two voltage inside one board but for this one the entire board only support a 3.3 volt so we need we need to have some other hardware to have us drawing a voltage and also to help us putting the board into downloadable or a communicator hardware that communicate the board to the computer or ID in order to download the code into the board so what we need is the TTL USB to TTL converter so this board also include the 5 volt and the 3 volt voltage which is here there's a tiny 3 pin board in here yep this one that draw the voltage from 5 volt to 3.3 volt and this have all we need the TX and RX pin which is allow us to download the code from the Arduino ID or any other software that use for download the code into the MCU this one so we need these two for the standalone hardware but we need nothing for the node MCU 
Okay guys, now I have my device, the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with the code loaded inside and this is the Wi-Fi jammer, the module with the code that is written specifically to jam the Wi-Fi signal, any Wi-Fi signal. So now I have my iPad connected to the Wi-Fi signal of this module and I'm go ahead and go into the IP address of the Wi-Fi is 192.168.4.1 okay let's go now here it is and I'm getting into it and uh, let me scan it see now the first one gonna be Watana this Watana the channel 4 I'm gonna select it okay and I'm going to the attack mode now to show you the exact connection I have right now, I have, let me connect to Watana, here is the connection of Watana, and let me go into Google to, to show you that the internet is working perfectly, alright, so now let's attack. Gonna start really soon. Getting start now. And boom, it start. So let's go again to YouTube. And it don't really load. It takes so long to go because the module has already jammed the signal. And yet you can see that I am still on the connection. Boom. So this is how you dream the Wi-Fi signal with the Wi-Fi module ESP8266. Now let unleash it. Stop the stop the jamming. Let's stop. And now we go into YouTube. Boom. Immediately load into YouTube after stopping. So this is exactly how you're going to dream the Wi-Fi signal, any Wi-Fi signal.